If you're a human being with two eyes and a heart, this game, this industry makes you feel good. What industry? Sweat socks? No, show business. Dad, I want to work for you. All right, let's have an interview. We've got a shot here to win it all. You know how rare that is. What do you want for your future? Every day. It's showtime. Of course, everybody knows it's going to be the, the story of the rise of the Lakers, but I love seeing the, the role that these women played in all of this. So I, I want you to be able to just take the floor and tell everybody about your characters. I mean, Jeannie, Jeannie, she's um, currently the controlling owner of the Lakers, and, and she's such a powerhouse of a woman, an icon and in the franchise. And um, But, you know, this is 40 years earlier. This is her when she's... 19 and she has all these women in her life that she can look up to and that are giving her pieces of information and advice and so that she knows how to sort of maneuver in in this man's world and sally what about jesse oh, well jesse was harry's mother we didn't have a lot of actual information on her so we had to take some dramatic license as it were we knew some pieces that she was a single mother a lot of her life and raised him came brought him to hollywood um early on because she wanted in the 30s she wanted to be a movie star and that didn't happen but she was always very much uh in need of being glamorous she uh became an accountant and then when he became a businessman, he had her do the books. So she always was his accountant in his early business life. Then when he, uh, right before he purchased the Lakers, he pushed her out for more experienced accountants. And she's she's just, when we meet her, she's still pissed off about that. And I know you said this is one of the greatest American stories you've ever come across. I'm, I'm just curious, in, in what ways would you say? Well, when you look at the kind of mobility that Jerry had in his life, that he started out as this poor kid in the depression era Wyoming with a single mom just struggling to eat and get by and he ended up getting a bachelor's degree a master's degree and finally a doctorate in physical chemistry and he taught at USC then he became like a huge real estate tycoon and then one of the most legendary owners of a sports team in the history of the world like that is an American story to me. And Quincy, let's just pretend that you get to sit in the screening room, watch the whole series, and you're in that room with Magic Johnson. What do you want to know? I would thank them for living the life that they had lived, that they have lived, and just being able to um, excel and be great, and just because like Magic. Actually, living his life the way he did, it changed my life. I wouldn't be here sitting talking to you if it wasn't for Magic Johnson right now, you know? And that's deep, you know? My life is forever changed because he lived a life of excellence.